Challenge. And today, we're gonna be talking about this thing right here. No, not Vanna. This thing right here. Hey, yo, this is Dash. Get ready. All right. So let's talk about this. This is, and I'm just gonna apologize for the wind noise because I can feel it, so I'm sure you guys can hear it. Let's try and put the camera this way maybe to help use this, the screen to block the sound of the wind. But this is a Meadow Creek uh, this is the model BBQ 60. 60 as in 60 inches. Yes, this grill, grill is five foot wide. So what this is, is a uh, charcoal grill table, flat top grill table. And there, as you can see, there's not all that much room in here. There's probably six inches or so between the bottom of the grate and the bottom of the pan. So this is a stainless steel grill rack supported, you know, reinforced underneath. And there is a removable charcoal pan. All right, so I flipped the grate up so you can see the charcoal pan probably about an inch deep and it sits down on the bottom flush and flat but uh, it is removable so it's easy to clean the ash out there are two I guess maybe three if you drop the cooking grate all the way down to the bottom here but there are you know one two positions for it at least uh, and there's a lid <laughs> so decent size wheels and casters uh, and it's pretty pretty decently made pretty sturdily built uh, this looks like probably 11 gauge so eighth inch thick for the bottom and it's a little thinner on the top but I mean for what it is now there is hopefully you can see nope you can't now you can probably see it there is an intake one on each side and more or less exhaust uh, I gotta loosen up yep I gotta loosen up that screw there on the other one and there's a there's two here so hopefully by now uh, you should uh, the way my upload schedule works you should have seen the video of me picking this up the grill that I'm gonna be picking up is done so yes <laughs> oh wait I didn't tell you guys I'm getting a new grill <laughs> yeah. Here, brisket, 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 brisket. Here, brisket. And I just wanted to do a quick walk around, a walk through of this grill and new grill. Who this? <laughs> you guys know uh, we're going to need to come up with a name. So this is a Meadow Creek brand smoke or grill. Excuse me, Meadow Creek brand grill. I went up to Pennsylvania, up to New Holland, Pennsylvania, picked this up. Uh, I had to order this grill, and it took about a week and a half or so for them to build it. Uh, it is pretty much uh, basic. The only option I did, the only option I, I did do was the lid i wanted to make sure i had a lid because i'm replacing that grill there that gr grill there has been it's been my rock horse I've, I've used that grill for years and done lots and lots of on-site cooks and things like that so that's what this is going to replace that one over there uh that being said <laughs> she's gonna need a name all right and let me get out of the the sun for a second uh, maybe not so she's gonna need a name and you guys know how I name everything 
so she's gonna need a name so you guys get to fight about that i guess for a little while we shall see what we name this one but i will be putting it to use this weekend um Coming up tomorrow, Saturday, I have a on-site event where I will be cooking not only with this one, but I'm going to be renting another grill with a, with a rotisserie on it or with it so that I can use that to um, this event that I have tomorrow. It is I'm going to be cooking some lamb, some chicken, some sausage. I don't even think I'm doing anything basic like burgers and hot dogs. It is for a coworker's wife. Uh, it's a celebration of life. She got some. Uh, she got some organs transplanted, and it's just uh, like her celebration of life. Uh, every year or every few years, they have a big party for her. Uh, you know, just a like I said, a celebration of life. So I think that's pretty dope, and I think it's pretty awesome that they hit me up and asked me to come and cook for them. So. Luck, luck, as luck would have it. So you guys know, I, I talked to you guys about the event that I had or when I, when, I, when I only cooked half of the food for what I needed. Basically the profits from that weekend went to this. So after I had that weekend, stellar weekend, I went and took all of the monies that I had as far as profit and I, I put it into this. So you guys are probably asking, well, how much does something like that cost? And usually I don't talk prices on things, but this is something that you can commercially get. This thing out the door cost me about $1,500. And I'm hoping to have this in service for quite some time. But so far, uh, I had it underneath this. This is an old grill cover, and the grill cover uh, has a hole in the top, of course. Um, and <laughs> but I had it in the, underneath the grill cover, and it it did an okay job. But I can already see that this thing is going to need to be touched up sooner than later, and probably more often than I touched up that one over there. But again. Like I said, I wanted to, to let you guys know or I wanted to introduce a new grill to you guys. Uh, I will be cooking on it this weekend. I might put some coals in it, put some, uh, put some Pam, spray it all down. I don't know. Uh, kind of busy afternoon today. I, of course, have to take my, uh, my uh, taste testing number two. It has a baseball game this afternoon. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get time to actually get it seasoned. It is just a charcoal grill, not really all that uh, all that pressing. It'll, you know, I think I will rinse it out pretty good and just put a couple coals in it just to, to burn it a little. All right, so I couldn't help myself. I did go ahead and get a bag of charcoal down into the grill and sprayed it off with some Pam. So. An initial burn off, if you will. Uh, when I say this thing swallowed up a whole 20 pound bag of King's Street like it was nothing. <laughs> oh boy, I'm gonna be going through some charcoal with this thing. That's for that one sure. But I have all of the vents, intake and exhaust wide open. Hopefully you guys can see that there. So there's an intake down there as well as where the I guess the rack rate grates or, or rests, I don't know what you would call them. But you see, and the thermometer is in fact working. It's coming up to temperature. But I did spray down the inside of this thing so you can see a little bit of the Pam coming off of the sides there. But, so far, now, some of you guys might be wondering just how heavy this lid is. It's pretty heavy. Uh, I'm able to pick it up with one hand, but uh, whew, I can see that that could become problematic. But I just, like I said, I have one, this is one 20 pound bag of charcoal down in there. I spread it out evenly over it. I got some lighter fluid and lit the whole thing up and used the torch to actually get it lit. Uh, I didn't have a, I don't have a whole bunch of time to be playing around with it. So we'll see, but it looks like in order to get this thing going, it, I could probably put two bags of charcoal down in each one of these or in here. And uh, wow, 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 wow. 
but so far so good looking good all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna in the in the video that i started earlier i'm gonna just put this clip in there and then i'll finish out with how i ended the other one but i'm just gonna let this burn off real fast and we'll go from there all right so i've had the metal creek grill running for a little while we're rated right about 350 degrees on this thermometer here ah i was a little worried that this was gonna get hot and it is a little warm i have to figure out a solution to deal or help with that but see we're getting some good color on the on the grate there and I mean, I'm just going to let it roll, let it do what it does. Let this charcoal that's in here burn off. It is uh, sacrificial. I wonder how, no, at least these, these are pretty cool. And the, the grate is definitely warm. So that's good to know that it is, uh, at least these cool touch handles are actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. All right, well, uh, here, there you can see it. So, well, I'm gonna let this finish seasoning off and uh, I'll be back out later to talk or look at this. Flashback. But other than that, uh, I think that's it. So thank you guys again, as always, for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Make sure to turn that notification bell on so you can be notified whenever one of these videos goes live. Last but not least, I'll see you guys next time.